Hello, hello. This is Creating Cards with Sherry. I'm Sherry, and I'm so glad that you have joined me for my Simple Sunday video today. Happy New Year! I trust you guys are doing really well and uh, are ready to say goodbye to 2022 and start fresh this year. And uh, I'm excited that it's a new year. It'll have a lot of new opportunities and um, things coming our way. And one of those new opportunities is just around the corner, Thursday, January 5th you will have access to our new mini catalog. I can't wait for you to see what's in here. There is so many fun things. And I've shown you a few things already. Um, in fact, one of the things, I showed you the Regency Park set, but I forgot to show you this card that I had made with it. <laughs> and um, that was done with, let's see, I have the stamps here. The Petal Park. One of the stamp sets that goes with the suite. And uh, and I put this together. So I just wanted to show you the other options that we have. Or some of the other options. Along with this catalog, we are going to have our celebration. So whenever you make a purchase between this catalog and our annual catalog of $50 or more, you get to choose something free from this celebration catalog so keep that in mind i look forward to hearing from you and i know you're going to be delighted with everything that's in this catalog all right let's get started today we are going to make a simple card called an accordion card it's a fun fold and it looks something like this uh, this one, I made this into a sympathy card, and um, it folds open, and uh, I had put on here, may the memories of yesterday comfort you today, my shoulder is yours. And then you just open it up, you can put your message inside, and that's all it is. It just opens like an accordion, okay? We're going to make something similar to that today. In order to do this card, you have to have 11 and a half by 5 and a half base card. And again, you can choose any colors you want. That one I did in blue and green. This one I'm going to do in black and green. And the granny apple green. And um, so anyway, 11 and a half by 5 and a half, you're going to score it 4 and a quarter at 7 and 9 and 3 quarters. All right. So we're going to get rid of that. <clears throat> and you just fold it so that it, they fold kind of opposite of each other. Okay. All right. Then you're going to need one panel that is going to be an inch and a half by five and a quarter. You're going to need two panels. One will be white and the other will be the DSP that you've chosen. That's two and a half by five and a quarter. And then you'll need one that is four by five and a quarter. And when I say DSP, I mean designer series paper. This is our Granny Apple uh, green uh, designer series paper that I'm using today. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. And we're going to be using the Granny Apple green stamp and our, um, our ink pad and the tuxedo black memento as the other ink pad. The other things that we're going to be using today, I'm using our, I'm using this stamp from our Hello Ladybug and our punch that is our Hello Ladybug bundle and we're going to be using those. I'm going to be using my rectangle stitched dies to put my sentiment on and I used uh no it wasn't that size I think it was this size yep it was this one okay 
stubborn. Okay, and then I used um, from the Petal Park, I did not use the flowers this time. I didn't use the stamps, but I used this fancy die cut. All right. And this is something new from the um, mini catalog that's coming out. Framed florets. I am going to be using the sentiments wishing for a beautiful birthday and just a little reminder that you are loved. All right. So that's all the products that I'm going to be needing today and using. So let's get started. I'm going to start by putting my big sheet on. And then it'll just fit right in the middle of this with a nice little border all the way around it. This is where my white piece is going to go, but I'm not going to put that on yet because I want to stamp on it first. All right, so we're going to put this one on. And as you can see, this is reversible, so you can use whatever side you want of this designer series paper. And this piece doesn't go here, but it goes on the outside of it. So you have to make sure that you get it on the correct side. All right. Then I am going to take my granny apple green. And I'm going to stamp my leaf on this white panel. There we go. I've already punched out my ladybug. So I'm going to put my ladybug right there. I'm trying to decide if I want to pop him out or if I want to just leave him flat. I don't know how the accordion's going to use with the pop out. So we'll try this and see how it works. All right, and then that's the spot for people to uh, write, for you to write your message. And I would suggest that you write your message before you glue your piece in. Um, it's just easier. It doesn't have to be done that way, but it's, it's nice, especially if you have um, different dimensions on it. Okay. So that's how that fits. Eh, that's not too bad. I think that pop-out's going to be fine. All right. Then I'm going to stamp on my rectangle here. Just a little reminder that you are loved. And oh, I have to decide which way I'm going to put this. I think I decided, nope, this way. All right. And then we're just going to put this right in the middle of that. Okay, and then on this one, I want to make sure I get it the same way. Okay, I'm going to put and when you're doing this, especially if you're using these like ornate uh, designs, uh, lacy fancy designs, you want to make sure that they're they're lined up the same way um, and the same side is there so that you can cover it up. Okay, if I were to flip this around, you see I had I would have difficulty doing that. So you want to make sure that they're facing the same way. 
All right. <clears throat> We're going to print in here. Oh. Wishing for a beautiful birthday. Okay, then what I want to do is I want to just adhere enough glue on this side so that I can put it over this outside flap. And I want to make sure that it's going to center on my card okay. Well, this didn't get centered on here very well. I don't know if I can take it off. I might not be able to. I won't worry about it. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to put the same amount of glue on that side. And then you want to make sure that you line these up carefully. Now I'm going to take this off for just a minute. Whoop. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to line them up. And I need to bring this in just a little bit so that I can be sure I get them lined up exactly what I need. And what I'm doing is I'm putting this white piece on the back side of the flap, not of the Okay, and we'll press that down so that when you open it up, that will be there, okay? And it's tricky to get them lined up just right. Maybe it'll be better if I can see it this way. Okay, what you might want to do, what I'm going to suggest for the next time, is you might want to line these up just right. You could even do it this way. And then put your glue on. And then, because this might be easier that way, and then you flip that part over. There you go. Now you got it. So now, when they get their card, it's got ink all over here. Um, just a little reminder, and you open up that accordion side. Wishing you, wishing for a beautiful birthday. And then they open it up again and see your message. And that is your accordion card. Isn't that cool how that works? I really like that. All right. So that's the two cards that we have for today. And um, I hope that you enjoyed that vid the video today. If you want to purchase anything from this, this DSP comes from our Regency Park um sweet as well so um this one <clears throat> the the dsp or the designer series paper and the fancy uh, labels you will be able to get through the mini catalog and again the fancy label comes with the mini catalog on that one <clears throat> and um uh, this comes this designer series paper is with our, uh, I'm trying to think of what color it is, our Brights colors, and that comes in the 6x6 six six, uh, DSP. This will come in a 12x12 12 12 with the suite. All right, if you want to purchase anything, 
Be sure to use the host code 2WTSTBHR. All right, that is this month's host code. And um, check out my blog, creatingcardswithsherry.blogspot.com, and I will have all the instructions in here. In there, I should say. <clears throat> Creating Cards of Sherry Stampin'Up.net is my shop. Again, thanks for visiting today, and you have a wonderful New Year's Day. Bye now. <laughs>